Hello wrestling fans, boxing fans, and everybody out there. It's Ryan time. Wrestling and boxing forever. Tonight it was, is the Hard hard Times 2 pay-per-view. And we're going to start with the pre-game show. So, let's start out with the pay-per-view, uh, pre-game show. Um, Mims against Jack Dane. Crimson was in Mims' corner. Mims got the win using the schoolboy. That's a roll-up. They call it the schoolboy. Um, Mims got that win. The hoax. I'm sorry, the hex. The um the tag team of Allison K and Marty Bell hold on to their women's tag team championships. And um the junior heavyweight gauntlet match. The winner of that gauntlet battle royal, the winner of the gauntlet match, goes straight to the finals of the NWA World's Junior Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Like I said, I'm so pr I'm so happy they brought back that championship. I'm so proud that they brought back that championship. Anyway, let's talk about some of the competitors that were in it. Luke and BJ Hawks. Ricky Morton. Um uh, Ariane Davari. C.W. Anderson, Homicide was in it, Sal Renaro was in it, Ladies and gentlemen, that gauntlet matchup was amazing. Amazing. The pregame show was amazing. But Homicide wins the, the gauntlet. He's going straight to the finals. Straight to the finals. Um, let's see. Straight to the finals. And, um, this Junior Heavyweight Championship is going to be tremendous. It's great. It's great to see. Um, let's get on to the pay-per-view. Um, Zion, the masked wrestler Zion, who cashed in his Championship Series opportunity to take on Tyrus for the TV title. It was a back-and-forth match. But Tyrus ends up keeping the world's television championship. La Rebellion, they keep the they keep the world tag team titles. The national championship was kept by Chris Adonis. Um the knockouts, t uh, Impact Wrestling, ROH, they were rep represented. ROH is Ring of Honor Wrestling. The, they were all represented in that, uh, in this pay per view, Hard Times, too. Um, Mickey James held on to the knockouts, the knockouts championship, um, Met, uh, Mike Bennett and Matt Taven hold on to the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships. They defeat J.R. Kratos and Aaron Stevens in a very competitive matchup. Austin Aries, in a junior heavyweight qualifier, defeated Rick Titus. 
Um, for those of you who are not familiar with Rip Titus, he's a he's a former ROH, former Ring of Honor talent. Apparently now he works with the NWA. He lost to Austin Aries. Austin Aries is in the tournament for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. Um, so, this pay-per-view has been amazing. This pay-per-view has been amazing. Even the even the uh, pre-games, the pre-game show is amazing. All, all the champions so far have been able to keep their championships. So, like I said, Ricky Morton, believe it or not, Ricky Morton's son was in was in that matchup for the junior heavyweight championship. Uh, Jeremiah Plunkett was in was in that matchup as well. Um, like I said, C. W. Anderson was in it. Uh, Salvinaro was in it. It was a it it it's a hell of a matchup. It was a hell of a card. It's a hell of a card. But like I said, so far, Tyrus keeps his television title. The Hex, Allison K and Marty Bell, they keep the the women's tag team titles. Homicide wins the junior heavyweight gauntlet to go into the tournament finals. Uh, Austin Aries gets his spot in the junior heavyweight tournament by beating Rip Titus. Uh, Mike Bennett and Matt Taven keep the Ring of Honor tag team titles. The national championship was held on to by Chris Adonis. So it's going to be the world's heavyweight title is still to come. And speaking of world's champions, former world's champion Nick Aldis gets a win over Tom Latimer, a.k.a. Bram. So, this pay-per-view has been amazing so far. Um, the finals for the Junior Heavyweight title will be at the next pay-per-view for the NWA. So, we're going to find out what the next pay-per-view is. But this Junior Heavyweight division... This championship, it's it's exciting. It is exciting. Um, like I said in my very first bid, um, the junior heavyweight division is the all these great talents from around the world with all these different styles. American, the American style of wrestling, the Japanese style of wrestling, the British style of wrestling, Canadian style. All these different styles of wrestling rolled into one to make one exciting style that has captivated interest all over the place. I'm, I'm so happy to see it come back. I'm, I'm so happy for it. And um, thank you again, NWA, for bringing back this championship. And thank you. Thank you so much. Um, 
in other news, I know that this was a, a wrestling a bit video about Hard Times 2 pay-per-views, but I got, I got to mention this. This is about boxing. A little bit of off topic, but I also cover boxing on this channel. And I've got to mention uh, Showbiz the Adult. Um, he mentioned that Tilapima Lopez had a medical had a medical condition going into the to the fight with George Cambosis. And after the fight he went to the to the to the hospital to get checked on and one of the doctors the doctor there said he was lucky to be alive. He could have died before or after the fight. So thank God he didn't die. You boxers and wrestlers put your lives on the line to entertain us. And we all love you for it. But my advice to Tilofima Lopez, you are a professional fighter, Mr. Lopez. You got a fighter spirit. But there is, there is a such thing as putting your heart in front of your head. And I know that the fans and boxing analysts and everybody else was looking forward to this fight. And I know you don't want to disappoint the fans. But your health is number one. Your health and your safety is number one. And uh, we thank you. I, I say thank you for entertaining us, entertaining me. I am a boxing fan. I love it when a fighter shows a lot of guts, a lot of heart. And I know, and I know professional fighters, they make a lot of money. The championships, they mean a lot. But your health and safety is number one before anything else and everything else. So, I'm glad he came out of the fight okay. I'm glad that they caught, I'm glad that they caught on to it before it became a major problem. Um, Telefima Lopez, he's a, he's a hell of a fighter. And showed a lot of heart and a lot of guts. But safety first, safety and health first before anything else. Rise on, wrestling and boxing forever. I'm out.